The following video sequences display the use of elastography, low mechanical index contrast enhanced endosonography, and 3D reconstruction of high mechanical index contrast enhanced endosonography in autoimmune pancreatitis. The first video clip shows a 24 year old patient with autoimmune pancreatitis. There is a wide variety in the appearance of autoimmune pancreatitis in endosonography depending on the stage the disease has reached. Basically, every appearance known from chronic pancreatitis can be shown. In this patient, the changes of the pancreatic tissue are rather small. Noticeable are white streaks within the echopore pancreatic tissue and a general swelling of the organ. It is interesting to mention that in this video clip, the structure of the pancreas shows a blue coating using elastography, which is due to the dense structure of the gland. This blue coating can be seen in all areas of the pancreas unrelated to focal changes of the pancreatic tissue and can therefore be used as a diagnostic criterion. The contrast-enhanced high mechanical index Doppler endosonography shows a clear hypervascularization of the whole pancreatic body with a net-like vessel system. Although the hypervascularization of the pancreas is not very specific for autoimmune pancreatitis, it can be used as a diagnostic hint. Certainly, it is helpful to distinguish focal autoimmune pancreatitis to the normal pancreas as well as to pancreatic carcinoma. Three D reconstruction of the pancreas after contrast enhanced high mechanical index Doppler endosonography underlines the hypervascularization nicely. The following contrast-enhanced low mechanical index endosonography shows a corresponding behavior of the microvessels in autoimmune pancreatitis as already displayed for the macrovessels by contrast-enhanced high mechanical index endosonography. The influx of the contrast-enhancing bubbles is seen in this video sequence in all areas of the diseased pancreas. Again, the 3D reconstruction at the peak of influx is able to display the hypervascularization of the pancreatic tissue nicely. The following video sequences show another case of type 1 autoimmune pancreatitis. In this case, we started off with a normal B-mode endosonographic scan of the pancreas. The endosonographic scan of the whole pancreas is shown in this sequence using a longitudinal endosonographic scanner. Starting off at the pancreatic head, there are only a few echogenic streaks through the pancreatic parenchyma visible. The pancreatic organ is enlarged, however this might be more visible using cross-sectional methods. The changes are not very different from a normal pancreas. A closer look at the pancreatic duct reveals slight changes in diameter and a white enhancement at the border. These signs are in line with the International Consensus Conference for Autoimmune Pancreatitis, published in 2011. Some inflammatory lymph nodes are seen next to the pancreatic corpus. No calcifications or complications like pseudocysts are visible in this patient. Because of the patient's history with colitis ulcerosa and symptoms improvement after steroid therapy, we used elastography for further diagnosis. In this case, the elastography did not show a clear blue coating all over the pancreas that normally indicates a dense pancreatic tissue. However, there are definitely too many blue areas all over the organ in comparison to normal pancreatic tissue. The machine settings are now changed into the high mechanical index color Doppler mode. To perform this method, the mechanical index of the B mode endosonography has to be lowered and the color flow of the Doppler has to be set to 5 cm per second. Right from the beginning, after application of 4.8 milliliters Sonovu, a clear enhancement of the Doppler flow in the pancreatic vessels can be seen. The vessel system in this patient is rich and shows a net-like structure. The introduced four corners in the picture marking the region of interest for the 3D scan. The scan is performed by a 60-degree movement of the endosonographic probe. The resulting data are immediately shown in four areas on the screen after the scan is performed.
The result of the 3D reconstruction of the high mechanical Doppler contrast enhanced endoscopic ultrasound can be turned in any direction. The reconstruction clearly shows the B-mode picture of a section of the pancreas and the contrast enhanced Doppler signals of the vessels. After the high mechanical index contrast enhanced endosonography, we performed a low mechanical index contrast enhanced endosonography. Again, the program has to be set into low mechanical index mode. The first injection of the contrast enhancer is not visible anymore due to the time and the destroying force of the high mechanical ultrasound. When prepared, a second dose of Sonivu is applied and the microvessels of the pancreas are clearly displayed. Please note again the rich vessel system of the macro and microvessels of the pancreas. At the peak of contrast enhancer influx, the same 60-degree turning of the endosonographic probe is performed to collect the data for the 3D reconstruction, and the data are displayed again in four sections of the screen. The reconstruction of the area can be rotated in any angle for further diagnosis. Our case shows the reconstruction of the micro and macro vessels of the autoimmune pancreatitis in typical form.